Hey Virgo, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As you can see, I've already pulled your oracle cards because I forgot to turn on the camera, but I figured it's only three cards. I'll leave it there and we'll talk about it. To be fair, Yang and Milk and Honey. Okay, but we'll go over that in a minute. Let's get into the reading. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for your for Virgo's weekly reading. What do we need to know about it? This weekly reading could be for anyone with Virgo placements or anyone else who's guided to watch it. What do we need to know about it? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? Virgo weekly reading. This reading could resonate anytime you're guided. Virgo, what's important here for anyone who's guided? Some kind of truth is coming out, I can tell you that. And it could be a legal thing because we have to be fair. Or someone's doing the right thing, to be fair. I like it. Okay, we'll talk about that. Tell me more about this. Um, and it, this definitely could be a legal judgment. Wow, it's beautiful. This is gorgeous. Okay, let's get a little bit more information. Virgo, two of swords. Oh, that's too many. Let's get just one or two, please. One or two. Wow, well, this is so nice. The chariot, too. All right, really nice. What else do we need to know? You could be dealing with the Cancer. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be dealing with both. You could have any of this in your chart. All right, so these two came out together. Let's talk about this. Really awesome. Wow, really? Okay, so somebody, um, there's Cancer right there for me, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and this could be you, Virgo. Uh, this is Capricorn usually for me, though, at the King of Pentacles reverse. It could be anybody. You guys could be dealing with work situation with the Eight of Pentacles. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We don't have to go that far back, but I see somebody getting released from something, Eight of Swords reversed from being all up in their head. But again, we have that up in the head energy here too, but we'll talk about it. Tower reverse, somebody could be getting over something. There could be good news coming in with the page of wands, something about the past that was no fun. We're getting past it and we're getting good news about it. So if something bad happened to tower in the past happened and you've been going through a hard time about it, there's something changing. The energy's changing around that. It was, could be coming in with some kind of good news and forward movement. High Priestess is here in reverse, so there's definitely information. If it comes out, it's going to be truth. It's going to be clarity. It's going to be justice. It's beautiful. Um, and when it does happen, some of these ships come in. Look at the ship. Look at it. It's huge. Three of Wands. This is a beautiful card. I feel like there's information coming in that brings in a justice. Remember, to be fair, Yang, Milk, and Honey. Um... We have the Two of Swords here as well. This could be a decision that somebody's been trying to make. It could be a legal decision that someone's been having a hard time making. They could have been blindfolded and bound and didn't have all the information. And now the information and the truth comes out and helps someone make the decision. We also have the gorgeous chariot. This is like a victory in itself. It's like I win right underneath the Ace of Swords. These are both two cards of I win. Okay, um, this could be a Cancer or this could be you. Um, you could have Cancer in your chart. We have here the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles that came out together. I feel like this is a financial or a work situation. I'm going to get more information. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this Gemini? I'm sorry. I don't know why I said Gemini. I don't even know where that came from. I haven't even done Gemini yet. Um, what do we need to know about this Virgo reading? What's important for us to know about the Virgo reading? We need to know about the High Priestess Reverse and the Ace of Swords. I feel like this is all one thing happening. Something comes out and it is like truth and justice and clarity all at once. Tell me about this. Okay. And it's been a long time coming with the Eight of, I'm sorry, the Seven of Pentacles Reverse. No longer waiting for something to be made right about you getting betrayed. Ten Swords in the back that's done it's in the reverse some kind of justice is coming in for you i feel it has something to do with an injustice tell me about the three of wands no tell me about the two of swords what about the two of swords
the Hierophant. Yeah, there's a decision being made. I feel like it is a business or, or a legal decision or something like that. Um, yeah, business. It could be business because I said it. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Somebody's ship's coming in. What about the Three of Wands? What's important here? What do we need to know about it? Wow. The King of Pentacles. Beautiful. All right. So whatever this is, it brings in. If this was financial, the money's coming. That's the money man right there. Um, if, if this is you, your ship's coming in. Look at it look at it it's beautiful this very well could be you yeah you get to have your cake and eat it too <laughs> he's holding a big old cake and a glass of wine oh cake and wine what a beautiful combination <laughs> all right let's get into it. what do we need to know about the chariot it's gorgeous forward movement victory what else do we need to know about it? Chariot. Oh, come on. That's way too many. Ugh, so sorry, you guys. Lots flipped over. Oh, my gosh. There's so many cards flipped over. Hold on. I am so sorry. Okay, can we just get one or two cards for the chariot? One or two. That moon tried to pop out several times, so that moon might mean something. Tell me about this chariot. Whoa, okay, the only two that popped out over here are those. The other others flew on the other side, and there's too many. Okay, so we have um, Six of Wands and, I mean, Ace, oh, Page of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Excellent. This, there's amazing news coming in. This is a victory. It's a, it feels like a legal victory with the Six of um, Pentacles here, and to be fair, and the Ace of Swords, and the Hierophant, and the this feels very legal. So a legal justice for you, or for a Cancer, or for a Sagittarius, or for anyone who's here in the upright, a Taurus, um, I, Virgo, I mean, you, you, King and Queen of Pentacles are here. This could be for you and your partner. Um, this could be some kind of victory for you and your partner. Tell me about the three of pentacles, queen of pentacles. What do we need to know? Three of pentacles, queen of pentacles. This could be a work situation. That's way too many. I'm not taking all that. This could be a work situation or a financial situation, but it's, it feels very legal. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Is there anything important we need to know about this? To be fair, Yang and Milk and Honey. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Eight, eight of Pentacles reversed. Like I said, this very well could be a um, work situation. And we started with Eight of, you know, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, but now we end up with Queen of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles in the upright. So what is this about? I want to know a little bit more about it. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's like this has been a long time coming. Yeah, the Pentacle coming in. Absolutely. And I feel when it shows up, you're going to be really happy. There's going to be a celebration. I definitely feel as though... Um, Wow. So I could, was there, I don't know what was happening with this money. Um, why did this take so long to come in? It's like, you've waited a long time for this seven of pentacles. The knight of pentacles takes a long time. Something could have been blocked with this two of swords and the, oh, it was blocked by red tape. Okay. Give me the two of swords and the hierophant. I feel like red tape blocked this Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. The world reversed. Nothing could budge. Nothing could go forward. But there's news going to come out about this. Okay, so there's news coming in about this. Somebody's ships are definitely coming in here. Um, it's been a long time coming. It's the fair thing to do. So listen, if this is like a legal entity or a business or a somebody who has to pay out something, they're going to do the right thing. They might have, um, it's, it looks to me like there was some kind of red tape or something. Uh, there was something blocked. I don't know what this is, but something was blocked or stopped. And look at how the knight comes in and, um, is handing the, you know, queen of pentacles or pentacle, 
Um, she's like not even, she doesn't even see it coming and they're coming in with it. Uh, because this has been a long time coming. I want to know why the Three of Pentacles is here. Why is the Three of Pentacles here with the Eight of Pentacles reversed? I feel like this is a business. Ten of Swords reversed. Huh. So... Somebody, did somebody betray somebody here? Give me, why is Ten of Swords reversed here? Just one or two. Why is Ten of Swords reversed here? I need just one or two cards. Two of Wands. Yeah, because someone blocked it. Somebody blocked this money and did betray somebody. But, okay, so if this money was blocked or stopped it doesn't matter because somebody's going to do the right thing anyway okay so tell me about to be fair and yang somebody's taking this action to make sure the right thing gets done tell me about to be fair and yang what do we need to know about it To be fair and yang, could we see anything about it? To be fair and yang is like somebody doing something, taking an action because it's the right thing to do. That's way too many, but that's the only one that turned over in my hand. Um, the five of pentacles in the reverse, meaning whoever's money was taken or blocked is now going to receive it, but I want another one. Um... Who's taking the action? Knight of Wands, Yang. Who's this? Who's doing this? Somebody who's been sitting on the money is doing the right thing. Okay, so the money was being withheld, but not anymore. Okay, somebody's going to do the right thing. All right, so whatever this is, it is that's going on. So if someone, if this is the money man, King of Pentacles, which he can be, he's often the money man to me. Um, I feel like he's going to make sure somebody receives their um, chip. Whatever's owed to them, they're getting. Um, if he's been holding back, it was because of something he had to get to the bottom of, some kind of red tape or something. Uh, if, but if he was betraying someone, he's decided to do the right thing for whatever reason. I don't feel like he was betraying someone, but someone else could have been blocking it. So in other words, it could have been people from the past that were blocking the money, and he's the one taking the action to bring in the good news about this money coming to the person it was being blocked from. So in other words, he might not have been the one blocking it, but he couldn't do anything about it because these people could have been blocking it. I don't know who they are. Who are the people from the past? Tell me about the Six of Cups in reverse. This could be a soulmate. This could be an ex. This could be family members. I don't know. Tell me about the Six of Cups reversed. Ten of Wands. Somebody who's been a real pain in the ass. All right. So, <laughs> so whoever this is, um, you're looking forward to uh, getting the monkey off your back and to see them go away. Um, I feel as though they could be, um, you know what it's like when you're ready to receive like uh, money, um, insurance payout or inheritance or um, I don't know, could be many, many different things. All of a sudden, you know, people come out of the woodwork and they claim it's theirs. Um, so this could be the issue. But whatever it is, somebody did feel betrayed here. Somebody did get, somebody's money was blocked. It was blocked by someone. I feel like it's whoever these people are that are a real pain in the butt. Anyway, guys, I'm going to pull you a couple of angel cards and let you go. Please do um, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, is the, whoa, <laughs> that's way too many. Um, was this business, was this family, was this some other area that you can chime in about down below to let us know? Um, or is this, I don't know if this is, like it seems to all be happening right now for you. Someone's stepping up, someone's doing the right thing. You could be the one doing the right thing. In other words, 
you could be the one bringing someone their hopes wishes and dreams because we do have virgo here with the ship coming in so this could be you receiving it or you could be the one taking the action to give it to this queen of pentacles or vice versa right either or um something did come out flexibility let's see what else comes out um anything else so whoever is doing this um, was being very staunch about it and now they're being very flexible about it um, healing and courage came out as well beautiful I want to get one more from the bottom here please oh I got the blank one <laughs> give me another one please uh, oh I got two openness and patience wow absolutely so divine timing the information comes out in divine timing and it's going to help you heal it's going to help you move forward in your life I really like this energy and also um patience is you know this has been a long time coming um guys a long time coming right there that this truth would come out and this would happen for you let me know what this is I hope that um it works out for you guys I really do um, please do comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget something went out yesterday. I don't know at this point when I'm recording what I'm even doing for Saturday, but every week on, on Saturday and Sunday mornings, I put something out for you 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sunday, it's always the weeklies and on Saturday, it's monthlies or it's love readings or it's something else. So I hope that you caught that. Also, the weekend readings out there, the dailies are out there. There's the monthlies are out there for you guys. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there for you guys. I hope you're watching it all and enjoying the channel. And I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like the videos. It helps. And I appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. Bye.